We'll get to that in a minute, but first, in some overnight news now, we should learn more today about a hit and run crash that closed off part of Coors overnight. We know this happened about 11:30 last night here near Coors and Avalon in northwest Albuquerque. Police closed off northbound Central at Coors for a while, rather northbound Coors at Central. We're waiting to hear back from police about what exactly happened here, but we hear the crash involved a motorcycle and a van. Like daring rescue for a hiker who falls more than 30 feet off a cliff in the Sandias. That happened yesterday. And this morning, that hiker is in stable condition at UNM's hospital. News 13's David Romero has new details about the hiker and what happened out there. Good morning, David. Good morning, Matt. At last word, Brandon Hall suffered a severe head injury but is lucky to be alive. That's also in thanks to an ER trained doctor who was nearby when he fell. Now, that man is Dr. Tim Durkin, an ER doctor at Presbyterian who happened to be climbing in the area when he heard Brandon Hall fall. In all, the rescue operation took more than five hours, and the National Guard was brought in just after 2 p.m. 26-year-old Hall was trapped in Chimney Canyon and needed medical attention right away. Volunteers trekked in by ground, and rescue was attempted by air. The rescue itself was tricky in that the helicopter had to hover just inches away from the side of a cliff. After hours, the operation did go smoothly, and Dr. Durkin was able to stay with Hall the whole time. That's definitely a challenge um, with uh, the limited equipment. Um, basically, uh, myself, my friend, and uh, and the, the guy that fell, his uh, his his friend. We just kind of took all the warm clothing we had to try to, you know, make him comfortable and keep him warm. Hall was wearing a helmet at the time of the fall, but we're told that the injury he sustained was at the top of the neck, an area that's not covered by a helmet. Matt, back to you. All right, thank you for the update, David. In total, nine people from Albuquerque's Mountain Rescue were able to climb through that rugged terrain into the canyon to help Mr. Hall. Well, the man police say is behind a dramatic case of kidnapping and extortion is in jail in Albuquerque right now. Police say that on Friday, this man, James Michael McDaniel, put on a mask and attacked his girlfriend inside of her home in the northeast part of the city, then told her that if she didn't go steal money from the bank where she worked, he was going to kill her two kids. Investigators say the mom went to this bank. Workers there called 911, and the SWAT team went in and rescued the kids. And as you can imagine, neighbors could not believe what was going on. It scared me to death. Uh, I can't imagine what was going through that lady's mind all the time this was going on because, you know, my children are pretty precious, and, and I'm sure everybody's are. James Michael yes, they are. James Michael McDaniel is now charged with kidnapping, child abuse, and extortion. He's in jail on a $150,000 bond. Well, two people are dead after a crash involving two motorcycles at an SUV. It happened just before 10 yesterday morning on Highway 550 north of Aztec. San Juan County Sheriff's deputies say three motorcycles are going south when two of them slammed into an SUV that turned onto the road. A man on one of the motorcycles, Michael Shockley from Louisiana, was killed. David Hutchison was driving the SUV. He is from Aztec and was also killed. Well, it looks like the extra DWI patrols from this weekend are working. As of yesterday morning, police have arrested more than two dozen people for driving drunk just in Albuquerque. Ten of them were caught at this checkpoint in the northern part of the city, northwest part, on Saturday night. And then back on Friday, Albuquerque's mayor and the police department's leaders promised to focus on getting drunk drivers off the streets this holiday weekend. We're putting 20 additional officers on the street this weekend uh, to focus primarily on driving, drinking and driving issues. Police say those extra officers are working DWI checkpoints and saturation patrols. Well, funeral plans are now being set for a man who drowned at Navajo Lake. State police say four men were swimming in the Francis Canyon at Navajo Lake yesterday. They say the men were jumping off rocks when they decided to try to swim across the lake. Police say about halfway across, Ken Claussen got tired and went under, never came back up. Rescue crew crews tried to save him, but it was too late. Well, firefighters are still trying to put out a fire in the Turkey Mountains near Wagon Mound. It started on Saturday. Firefighters there are also trying to figure out exactly how big the fire is. Right now, they do not know how it started. Well, today is the last day that the Bernalillo County's public pools are open for the season. And if Fido has been itching to do the doggy paddle all summer long, this is his lucky day. It's actually called Dog Day Afternoon, where the dogs can go take a dip in the Los Padillas Aquatic Center from 5.30 to 7 tonight. That is free. Enjoy. Well, you've heard there's no such thing as a free lunch, right? But really, there is today for police officers, firefighters, and hospital workers who are laboring on this holiday here in Albuquerque. That's because Olive Garden is delivering lunch to them to say thanks for keeping people safe every day. It's called Hospitaliano. It's the 11th year Olive Garden has been giving out free food all over the country. This video is from uh, the event that's happened in the past. More than 750 Olive Garden restaurants will take part in this all across the country today.